being safe and careful in the garden. Gardener Alley here in the Haynes Garden. Today we're going to talk a little bit about being safe and careful in the garden. The garden is such a fun and wonderful place to be, but there's a few important rules to follow in the Haynes Garden and in any garden that you're in. So come along with me and let's find out. The first important rule to talk about is that we always want to use gentle touching in the garden. Whenever we touch a plant, we want to do it softly and carefully. We also always want to ask an adult before we pick a plant. I want to show you an example of gentle touching in the garden. Here's a plant that you might recognize. You may have even eaten it before. Does anyone know the name of this plant? These are collard greens. And so when I come up to the collard plant, I'll look at it first and then think about which leaf I want to touch. So I'm going to touch this one here. And first I might just very gently with one finger touch it to see how it feels. It feels soft, a little bit bumpy, and I could even use my whole hand to gently feel it. If I wanted to pick a leaf, what do you think I would do? If you said ask an adult, you're right. You would always want to ask a teacher or a parent or any adult that you're with. In this case, I'm an adult, so I know that I can pick these greens. I'm gonna pick a few for my dinner. So I'm gonna gently reach in, hold it with my hand, and snap a leaf off. So I'm gonna take this home to cook for dinner. Do you like to cook collard greens? I do. The second important rule to talk about is to be careful where we walk. So we don't ever want to step on plants and we want to always stay on the path in the garden. If we step on plants, we might hurt them or kill them. In this garden, most of our plants are in raised beds. That's what we call the wooden frame that we're looking at. So it's really easy not to step on our garden plants here because when we walk, we'll walk right up next to the bed and we're not stepping in it. So we would never want to step up here on the bed and definitely would not want to step in there because that would hurt our plants. The third important rule to talk about is to always watch out for insects and animals in the garden. What insects or animals do you see in this picture? There is a worm, a spider, a bee, and a fly. We often see these in the garden. If you see one of these insects or animals, you might feel scared and that's okay. The important thing is to move away with a calm body and a quiet voice. If you don't hurt them, they won't hurt you. If you're not scared and you're excited to look at the animal or insect, that's great too. If I came up to a bee like that in the garden, I want to show you how I would react. And this is the safest way to be. So I'm going to step back so I can show you. If I saw the bee here on this leaf, I would keep my body calm and I would slowly step away. If I saw the bee and I got scared and I waved my arms around and I yelled and I ran, the bee, the bee might get scared too, okay? And that might lead the bee to sting us. So whenever we see a bee or other insect in the garden, we wanna stay calm. And if you feel scared, you can slowly move away. So as a review, the important rules we talked about for being safe in the garden are gentle hands and 
don't pick anything without asking an adult. The second rule we talked about is to not step on plants in the garden and always walk on pathways when there are paths. And the third rule that we talked about was to be careful and calm around insects or animals in the garden. It's okay if you get scared, but we want to stay calm and quiet or else the insect or animal might get upset. Thanks for coming along to talk about some of the ways to be safe in the garden. I can't wait till we get to be in person in the garden and I hope that you'll remember these rules whenever you're in the Haynes Garden and whenever you're in any garden. See you all soon. Bye.